guys uh, today i'll make you understand how to unbrick uh, your uh, oneplus 3t or if you want to uh, get back to stock and you're not able to get stock and clean up your phone this is how would you do it so there will be a zipped file in which there is a text document and this folder so in the text document there is a small code which you need to run in cmd so you go to cmd with the admin privileges and then run the code just need to copy paste this code and change it to on and you have to press enter i've already done it so i might not require it this is done so that uh, in case there is any driver issue or something that won't make any problem to us so when you have this done and you have restarted your system you should be seeing this folder you can go in this folder and now what you need to do is you need to switch off your on plus 3d in case of a brick device you're not able to switch it off but then you will have to press the power button for a while so that you are sure that it's off i am switching it off deliberately and i have this connected but the second part is not connected and you press the volume up button for like 30 seconds uh, i'm actually doing it so i'm not you can forward this video if you want to and uh, when the 30 seconds are completed you just have to connect the port this port to the laptop so when you do that your phone would not show any light i think 30 seconds are over and you release the power button only after connecting okay and then what you have to do is you have to go to this tool and you have to run this with admin privileges again when you do that it shows com device on the 12th it can show it uh, on any of this that means that your device is connected but it's not showing anything don't press any button just click on start and it will complete the whole process you can see a yellow light over here what this is doing is this is actually preparing this for the first time install through the snapdragon processor so it is rebooting the processor and deleting everything inside this so kindly make a backup before doing that uh, so this will take a couple of minutes and this will also install the stock uh, ROM which is uh, there in the this file you cannot change it otherwise you can uh, have a, a, a hard brick device with you and once this is completed your phone would uh, return back to life so now you can see that it's downloading system and once that is done it will automatically switch your phone on just have to wait for that it will take a few minutes i'm uh, actually forwarding this video it will take time because uh, it is actually patching the system it is locking the bootloader because this can be used i am using it because i want to clean up my phone i have used this when my device was soft brick because of a, a wrong file which i uh, somehow installed try to install via twrp so that is one of the problems so even if you want to clean up your phone this is the way to go everything and anything you have ever installed will fall back and you will be back on the stock everything stock so uh, be it the bootloader be it your recovery be it your os 
everything will be on stock after this i'll give you the uh, the link of the files in the description and uh, if you if you face any problem or if you have any questions you can uh, write back to me and one more thing guys this is only for one plus 3t this will not work on any other phone whatsoever editing you do in the folder there are a lot of files which this software uses if you think you can only replace the md5 file and get it done for another device that won't work don't even try that i think it has taken some space now and so it usually takes around 10 minutes in total to complete because it is downloading it is not downloading it from the internet it is just loading it from the folder to the device and the one system is done it will do two three things more of course this is the biggest file we have system the files are not as big so this is now recovery and a lot of files So patch is when uh, the bootloader is locked and so it's completed and you see that the yellow light goes off there's a beep of disconnection of my phone and when you connect your phone to the charging port you see the charging icon coming in and this is what you will see here and I'll also show you uh, which version it will return back it will return back to I think uh, fifth version maybe I'm just switching it on now so when we started off uh, this power logo did not come which came now and now you can just uh, close everything that's not required now uh, so once this is done there is no device everywhere you are okay to close it it says download in progress but there's no problem just close that and you're done This is now like the first time uh, it is switching on so it will take a little time and uh, it is totally formatted now so it will have updates I am doing it because I was not able to install the Pi official version and I needed a cleanup because I have rooted this device and a lot of uh, changes have been done to the stock operating system so that was the reason it was not taking the new firmware uh, I was not wanting to do a dirty flash uh, using TWRP because it actually hampers a lot of files dirty flashing and that can create bugs which are actually not a part of the operating system so I want to have a cleanup and then so this this uh, phone will now fall back to I think sixth version of Android and then you will have to update a lot of things so I would say I would recommend to uh, do the updates first and then do uh, I just have to I think connect okay I just let's just skip that
okay i'll have to sign in to this device this is going to take a little while because I have actually forgotten my password Huh, yeah, so we are back. I don't want you, don't want you, don't want you. No. So, of course, when I'll unlock the bootload, I'll have to repeat these steps, but just wanted to show you that uh, which version basically I'm on. settings is here so that means uh, so I am on oxygen version 3.5.1 and the latest one is 9.0.3 uh, and this is Android 6 all right no problems and now you can basically update your phone to whatever version you want to all right thank you guys thank you for watching